This afternoon we have the uh, foreman team representative for Montserrat who took part in an invitation over the weekend in Anguilla and also with me is, co um, is coach Winston Scotland, uh, the coach behind uh, the athletic team here in Montserrat, been conducting um, some intensive training with the guys and this afternoon well, today I should say we're here to give an update on the event that uh, took place in Anguilla over uh, the weekend just gone. Yeah, give us an uh, an update on the on the situation, on the events I should say that took place in Anguilla. Well, it was a, was our first, um, second uh, in, um, time at the JW Proctor Classic in Anguilla last year. Took four athletes, four athletes, and myself as coach. This year we had five athletes. Actually, Shona Burns is not here because he's at um, the college doing some some studies. Um, actually, the event should have been on Saturday, but it rained in Anguilla, and actually uh, we called back home hoping that rain would have been here too. So they postponed it until Sunday, and we had to, you know, run our events. Uh, actually, they changed the events for us so that. We could take part, and the events were rather close. But so the so the team the team left on Friday to yeah, take to take part in the events on Saturday, yeah. but due to weather, it was postponed to Sunday. To Sunday. Um, in speaking to you off camera, you you were telling me that we had some success. Um, yeah, this, let us know this, about that. despite the close um, the closeness of the events, I think our guys did rather rather well. Um, the the juniors uh, they had um, like a silver and a bronze. Um, when you talk to them, they'll tell you in each event. Um, the seniors and the more seasoned athletes like Lester, Lester Ryan, Peter Semper and Shannon Burns to a lesser extent did remarkably well. Um, the, the times for, for example, Lester won the, the 100 meters in 10.6 seconds, um, second 10.84 Shannon Burns and the 200 was done in 21.95. Uh, would you say the competition was tight? Okay, well, yes and no. For the ju for the juniors, um, yes. Well, I should say for the youth, they, like um, Alfred and, and Dean, it was their, their their first meet out. You know, um, Leicester dominated last year. Basically, it would have been the same this year, the same as as shown. Because um, you must remember, at at the Caribbean level, at the Caribbean Games, um, under 17, Leicester came 14 the finals last year. That was with 26 countries so he's not doing bad regionally so we basically expect him to do well whenever he goes out um, so what's the age group that, that we're looking at that we're well 17 um, there was um, events for that we took part in is under 17 and 17 plus so it basically was like under 17 from 15 to 17 and from um, say 17 plus to you know as a senior 20 above 20 Number 20 and um, one set um, got uh, three gold medals and yeah, two yeah. silvers. Three golds, two silvers, two brown. Give your name, speak, look right into the camera, let the folks know. Good afternoon, Peter Sempo. And how long, how long, how long you been an athlete? How long you been doing this for Peter? I've been training for basically about four years. You've been training for four years, but prior to, prior to four years, prior to training for four years, you've always had an interest in in athletics, haven't you? Yeah, since I'm in primary school. Right. Tell us a little bit about the day event um, over the weekend in Anguilla. Well, I was disappointed because of the rain, because you were supposed to take part on Saturday, but... You had your mind all geared up, your body all that, geared that up for Saturday. Happen, so, yeah. So, yeah. Plan to just run on Sunday and just fly out. Which you mean run on Saturday and then yeah, fly out on, on Sunday? Saturday, yeah, fly out on Sunday. Right. I, I refer to Leicester these days as Speedy Gonzalez. is getting rather, <laughs> rather quick in the hundred meters. Leicester, you had a good meet this weekend. Yes. Let the folks know about it. Oh yes, um, I really enjoyed the meet and everyone down in Anguilla. Everybody down there respect me. You know they call me the king everywhere. You know so yeah, and took part in the hundred and two hundred meters and I came first in both events. So I'm proud of myself. You're proud of yourself and uh, when you. Are you, are you proud of the time also? You did um, last year in the carry of the games. You did ten, or what? Point eight to ten, ten point eight. Yeah. In the four hundred, in the in the one hundred, yeah. and you came fourth or something like that. That's right. And this year you are ten six. That's right. So there's an improvement. Yes. And uh, you will be taking care of your body, of course. That's right. Of course, I have to do that. So <laughs> once again, I want to say congratulations. Thanks, man. Yeah. And we go to Mr. Choi. 
I must uh, refer to Mr. Trade as a, an individual now who's trying to keep the Jubilee flag, if he knows a little bit of his history, going back to the days of Jubilee. Mr. Trade, tell us about um, you know, what happened in Anguilla. It was a nice experience. We had good competition. Congrats. And, uh, thanks for keeping the monster flag alive. Mr. Dyde! Yes, I'm going to send another guy from Jubilee. <laughs> another Jubilee. You've been um, in, in athletics for how long now? Um, about two years. Two years? Yeah. And, uh, and I guess you're trying, following, I must say, also like Mr. Choi, the footsteps of, of, of your father's been athletes themselves. Tell, um, tell us about Angola. Well, I, will, um, I came in third in 100 meters. Very disappointed. Mm -hmm. We wanted a goal you know, to push it this year. That's one of my goals, to push it and get yeah. gold. Well, you had a bad start or something? You got out of the box late or what? Well, it's just more training. More training? More training. And uh, I guess like I said the same thing in terms of training him once at some of the challenges you face with the ash, the ash again and not having the, yeah. the, adequate, the adequate facilities. Yeah, that too. And you have to be, you know, you have to be in track all the time. I miss a lot of days in track. Okay, and um, no doubt with the help of um, Coach Winston Scotland, I guess um, you four along with the others, he he be keeping a watchful eye yeah. on you on you guys. Once again, I want to say congratulations and congratulations to you all, you know, for making Monster proud for for coming back home with um what's it uh, three gold medals? You said three gold. Yeah, three gold. Three gold and um, and two silvers. Two bronze.